Supreme Girl versus Dr. Arachnid. Will Supreme Girl finally put an end to Dr. Arachnid's crime spree? Or will Dr. Arachnid put an end to Supreme Girl and Archie too? Supreme Girl versus Dr. Arachnid. cut me off until I pay my hamburger tab. I'll have to dip into my savings to pay it off. Veronica, a little privacy, please? Oh, don't mind me. Go right ahead. I'll just get the money inside. Huh? Veronica, do you have to know every little detail in everyone's life? Curiosity is a sign of intelligence. There's no harm in it. You just want to stick your nose in everyone's business so you can gossip about it later. What's the harm? Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, look, it's Anna Lee. She can tell how many gutter balls Mr. Weatherby bowled last night. Oh, Anna Lee! What a gossip monger. Huh? Hey, watch where you're going. Huh? Flying girl! You can run, Dr. Arachnid, but you can't hide. Then, perhaps I should fight! Whoa! Um. Ah! Are you all right? Thanks for asking, cutie. This is just a minor setback. Could you please step back for a moment? Who was that guy? That was Dr. Arachnid, an evil master criminal from the 12th dimension. I tracked him here through seven states and, of course, 11 dimensions. What's he doing in Riverdale? He must have some major crime planned here. I'd better go after him. What's your name? Supreme Girl. Maybe I'll see you again, cutie. Wow, a real life super heroine called me cutie. So what's up, Chief? Ah, uh, Archie Andrews, Olga Carpucci, my two top reporters. I thought we were her only <laughs> reporters. Have you seen our latest circulation numbers? Our readership has sunk to a new low. We need more readers. Maybe it's time to finally run that Supreme Girl story, Chief. Archie, for the last time, there are no such things as superheroes. But you've got to run the story. She exists. I saw her with my own eyes. She was wonderful. Then why are you the only one in town who's seen her? Olga, in the four months since you transferred to Riverdale High, have you ever looked up and seen a flying girl in the sky? Um, uh, me? Uh, no. I, I can honestly say I've uh, never looked up and seen a flying girl in the sky. Sorry, Archie. Nah, the Riverdale reporter doesn't need a story on an imaginary superheroine, Archie. It needs a gossip column. That's not news. It's just rumor mongering. Uh, and an invasion of privacy. Well, we won't do it. Oh, I wouldn't expect either one of you to handle a gossip column. That's why I went to an expert. Hello there, fellow journalists. You have no idea what a ruthless gossip Veronica is. If she's got a hot tidbit on someone, she feels compelled to spread it around. 
She sounds horrible. Oh, Veronica's heart is in the right place. She just doesn't understand that gossip can really hurt people. Uh, thanks for listening, Olga. I, I, I don't mind. I, in fact, if you ever, you, you know, want to go to Pop Tate's and just, you know, talk, I... Oh, man! I'm almost late. I've got a date with Veronica. You're dating Veronica? What can I say? I'm in love. Someday you'll understand what it's like to be absolutely crazy about someone. Bye. <sighs> I think I understand already. Greetings, one and all. This is Veronica Lodge with a preview of my new gossip column in this week's Riverdale Reporter. Here it comes. Betty Cooper's father didn't get that promotion he was counting on. Looks like Betty won't be visiting the art museums in Italy this summer after all. You didn't have to tell the world, Veronica. And literature teacher Miss Grundy was seen checking out trashy romance novels at the local library. For your information class, the works of Jane Austen are not trashy romance novels, no matter what the covers may look like. And here's the juiciest bit of gossip in this week's column. Guess who freshman Olga Carpucci <gasps> has a crush on? Oh, no. Archie Andrews. Oh. She's been seen dropping anonymous love letters in his locker all month. Those were from you? I'm sorry. I have to go. Cynthia, this gossip column is a bad idea. Bad idea? Are you nuts? It's the best thing that ever happened to the Riverdale Reporter. Everybody is picking up a copy. But gossip isn't real news. Well, it looks like most readers aren't interested in real news. Why argue with success? You've got to quit the column, Veronica. What's the matter, Archie? Jealous that my column is more popular than your silly weird mystery column? That's not it at all. You're hurting people. You should have seen poor Olga's face. And sometimes you don't even get the facts right. Facts schmacks. Who cares as long as the story is entertaining? Archie, are you listening to me? Actually, Veronica, I'm watching some real news. Look! A runaway car! <laughs> Supreme Girl! I told everyone she was real. Archie, what about our date? She's incredible! like someone forgot to set their parking brake. Supreme Girl, Archie Andrews, remember? Would you grant me an interview for the local high school newspaper? An interview? Me? Sure, why not? So how many superpowers do you have? Not many, really. Super speed, super strength, the ability to fly, almost complete invulnerability. You know, the usual. So what brings you to Riverdale? Actually, I've been here undercover in my secret identity for months. Dr. Arachnid has some big crime plan in Riverdale. I'm just waiting for him to make his move. This is going to be a great news story. I can't wait to see this interview in print. Please wait until after Dr. Arachnid makes his move. If I have the element of surprise, there's less of a chance someone might get hurt. Okay, I'll wait. But only if I can have an exclusive follow-up interview afterward. It's a deal, cutie. Mwah. Well, I better get back to my secret identity. I've been out in costume too long as it is. Goodbye. Wow. Hmm. I think I know how to fill my next gossip column. How could you, Veronica? How could I what, Archikins? You spied on me in Supreme Girl. I didn't actually spy on you. It was more like I creatively overheard you and the so-called Supreme Girl. You mean you eavesdropped on a private conversation. And now, thanks to you, Dr. Arachnid knows that Supreme Girl is waiting for him. Way to go, Veronica. No one believed you when you said there was a Supreme Girl. But now, thanks to my column, everyone knows she exists. You should be grateful. But you got the facts all wrong. 
Supreme Girl doesn't have flame-throwing bad breath or look like a 500-pound sumo wrestler. I can't be bothered with all these little insignificant details. You're hopeless. He's probably just angry because I scooped his exclusive interview with that tacky Supreme Girl. Veronica Lodge, gossip columnist extraordinaire. I was just sitting down to a nice cup of tea and reading your marvelous gossip column. I want to express my appreciation. Appreciation? For my column? Yes. If some superhero is sneaking around Riverdale, I think the public has a right to know the truth. Good for you. Yes, of course. The public has a right to know. Keep up the good work, Miss Lodge. And if you have any more tasty, gossipy tidbits about that supreme girl, don't hesitate to share them with the world. With any luck, that silly girl will help me find the supreme girl again. <laughs> Where is she? Where's Veronica Lodge? Veronica Lodge? She just stepped out for an espresso. Would you like me to give her a message? Don't pretend to be someone else. I know who you are. So, uh, what if I am? How could you be so irresponsible with your gossip? I've been waiting months for Dr. Arachnid to make his move. Your vile gossip report has now forced me to alter my plans. Oh, yeah? Well, well, I... I think the public has a right to know. You don't really care about the public. You just had a juicy piece of news and you wanted to be the first to get it out. Oh. What's the matter? Are you okay? I don't know. I feel as weak as a kitten. What are those earrings made of? Like them? Daddy picked them up in Paris for me. They're made of Trentonium, an ultra rare metal. I should have known. Trentonium, my only weakness. It drains my powers and leaves me with no strength. Get me out of here. You're not so high and mighty now, are you, Miss Fancy Skirt Superhero? So, why were you flirting with Archie at Pop Chase in the first place? Is this really about the public's right to know? Or are you just out to get me because you're jealous? Jealous of you? It's impossible for me to be jealous of someone wearing a gauche outfit like yours. The nerve of her. And Archie's still angry at me. All I'm trying to do is be a good gossip columnist. And I have a great bit of gossip. Readers, get ready for this exclusive bit of dirt about Supreme Girl. Guess what her secret weakness is? One hint, it's not pistachio ice cream. Thank you, Veronica Lodge. It's been a quiet Friday night. When will Dr. Arachnid make his move? Maybe this is it. Sounds like it's coming from Riverdale High. Did you hear something? Ah, uh, go back to work. If you guys finished your columns early like Olga, we wouldn't be working late. Hmm. Sounds like something's going on in Mr. Weatherby's office. Ah, my objective is within my sight. All right, villain, I've got you cornered. Are you sure? Dr. Arachnid is the one who usually spins the web. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Stealing the school's payroll. This is pretty low, even for you, Dr. Arachnid. I'm not here to steal the school payroll. Do you know how little a teacher gets paid? It wouldn't be worth the effort. So why are you here? To give you a gift. Oh, no. Trentonium. My powers. Draining. And it looked so lovely on you. Feeling faint. So tired. Oh. It's so simply delicious, my dear. You'll be here all weekend without the strength to lift your head. And tomorrow, I'll be committing the biggest crime in Riverdale history when I steal the proceeds from the large million-dollar charity fundraiser. 
by the time someone frees you Monday morning, I'll be long gone. <laughs> I'm sure I heard something. I'm going to check it out. We'll never get this issue done before midnight. That takes care of Supreme Girl. There will be no one to stop me tomorrow. Supreme Girl is here? I better find her. I think I'll follow Archie. Maybe I can get him to stop being so angry with me. I'll just stay here and write the rest of the stories myself, then. <gasps> Supreme Girl! Are you all right? Necklace is made of Trentonium. Get it off me. Let's get you out of here where you can recover. Are you going to be all right? I recover, uh, quickly. Uh, the best thing about this is that Dr. Arachnid won't be expecting me tomorrow at the Lodge Million Dollar Charity Fundraiser. Mwah. Thanks, cutie. Uh, I better get the Trentonium necklace locked up safe where no one can find it until Monday. I'll see you tomorrow at the fundraiser. Now, where did Archie go? Looks like the coast is clear to change back. I'd better go home and get some rest. Olga Carpucci is Supreme Girl? I can't believe it! Olga Carpucci is Supreme Girl! This has to be the hottest gossip of the century! Uh, I wonder if your father had the neck size on this tux deliberately fitted one size too small. I can hardly breathe. I'm just glad you're not angry with me anymore. I'm still angry, Veronica, but I have a... A uh, story to cover. Huh? Fine, Archie. Be that way. When my next column comes out, even you will be impressed. I've discovered Supreme Girl's secret identity. What? I want to thank you all for coming and for being so generous. We've already hit our donation goal of one million dollars. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where is Dr. Arachnid? Huh? Oh, that podium was in my family for six generations. Nobody moved and no one gets hurt. <laughs> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an eight-armed mutant criminal mastermind from the 12th dimension before? This looks like a chore. <laughs> a supreme girl. I want to thank you all for your generosity. I promise not to spend it all in one place. <laughs> not so fast. Oh, fudge. I'm going to send you back to the one place you do belong, the 12th dimension. You're not getting me that easily this time. Now it's your turn, Dr. Arachnid. No, I think not. You see, I have a hostage. Oh, oh. oh, and look, she has Trentonium earrings. You don't dare come near because your powers will drain. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I just thought they looked fashionable. Maybe Supreme Girl can't come near you, but I can. <laughs> Meddling teenager, you'll pay for this. Sorry, Dr. Arachnid. He's too cute for me to let you harm him. What will it take to put an end to your constant interference? I think a nice long prison sentence in a 12th dimension jail should do it. Double fudge. Time to take this master criminal back where he belongs. Wow. So Dr. Arachnid is now behind bars in the 12th dimension. And even though authorities continue to deny the existence of Supreme Girl, some Riverdale citizens know better and owe her a debt of gratitude.
Thanks for helping with the follow-up on the Dr. Arachnid story. I hope they let you write for the newspaper at your new high school. We're sure going to miss you in Riverdale. I'll miss you too, cutie. Huh? No. Uh, Archie, could I have a moment alone with Olga? Sure. Olga, I know your secret. So, the day I feared has come at last. Why, Olga, when you can be beautiful, glamorous, powerful, and heroic all the time, do you want to be Olga at all? When I'm Olga, no one treats me like I'm different. I may not be the most popular or, or the prettiest, but I do get to be a normal teenager. That's all I really want, a private life. I guess that makes sense. So, are you going to reveal my secret identity in your column? To tell the truth, after seeing all the trouble my gossiping got you into, I don't want to do the gossip column anymore. Your secret is safe with me. That's good. You'll keep more friends that way. Oh, and give Archie a kiss on the cheek for me. I guess Veronica has quit gossiping cold turkey. She convinced Cynthia that a fashion column would be much better than a gossip column. And no matter how hard I try to get her to, she refuses to reveal who Supreme Girl's secret identity is. It's probably for the best. All of us are entitled to a little privacy. Even a beautiful superheroine who stayed for a while in a little town called Riverdale. Good job!